Today we're looking at the top 10 most valuable Hot Wheels. There's something new in Hot Wheels. The Hot Wheels Sizzlers are here. Hey, it's done. Today we're going to look at the top 10 most valuable Hot Wheel cars right this very minute. There are tons of different versions of most of the Hot Wheels out there, especially the earlier ones. And some of the ones we're going to show you are selling for some incredibly high amounts of money right this very second. Hot Wheels. Brand new. Hot Wheels. For you. Genuine fiery. Hot Wheels. Amazing. Amazing. Genuine fiery. Hot Wheels. Now, if you haven't grown up with Hot Wheels like I did, you may not realize all of the different varieties and versions of most all of the earlier ones, especially. Most of the earlier lines, especially the original 16, came in multiple different colors. Some colors are harder to come by than others. Hot pink is usually one of the most sought after ones. But in some occasions, it's not the hot pink that goes for the most money. Some occasions, it's stuff like this here. This original purple, Olds, 442. Now that's a model of the car itself. This is based on a real car. Now you can see the price this one sold at. It has a ton of bids. So this is a legitimate full-fledged sale for this extremely rare car. Now this is a red line. That means it's one of the earlier ones and it has literally a red line going around the tire. As you can see, all the tires will have red lines going around them. So whenever you see the word red line in the title, that is exactly what they mean. Mattel's new Hot Wheels. Collect them by themselves or get them in wild new action sets like the Drag Race action set, the Stunt action set, the Hot Curves race action set. Get Mattel's new Hot Wheels, the fastest metal cars you've ever seen. Now here's another example of the very same basic car itself. This is the hot pink one here. You can see the price this one sold for, again, multiple bids, almost $4,000. A lot of these were damaged. They were left out in the yard. I myself used to put fireworks in them, blow them up in the backyard. So these do not survive in the best condition. So when you do find them in condition like this with the stickers still attached and the whole works, no broken plastic, the tires are still attached, they can go for some phenomenal amounts of money. Now you can see there is some damage to the stickers. This has a white interior. Many times there are some scarce versions of some cars where the interior will be the wrong color or the windshield and rear window will be tinted a specific color. There are different versions of most of the parts you can find. Some of those would have only been released in a limited area or in a different country or something along that line. So some of these can go for some good money because of those factors. Here's yet another old 442, a different sticker configuration as you can see here. None on the side panel. These all sell for $3,000 plus. It's a small, tiny little die cast car. These were built to last and old ones like this will still roll freely and be all set ready to go. This one's a red line as well as you can see. Now the sticker placement as well that was done by the original owner who decked out their car can also affect the value on some of these. If the stickers were done poorly or in a really odd bizarre pattern it may not sell for as much because it may ruin the paint to get them off. Now here's the metallic blue version of that same Olds 442 and again over three thousand dollars for this fine example of this car here this is a red line as you can see also white interior this one has just a spectacular paint job many times you'll see issues with the paint and it'll be discolored with blotches all over it too now many times those can be diminished at least in visualness you can buff some of the paint up where it will help it a little bit but if you don't know what you're doing i would not recommend ever touching the paint on one of these vintage ones now this one's my favorite. This is the light green. Some people call it an apple green. Just spectacular paint job on this car. You can tell by the price also, over $2,000. It also has the button that was issued with the car originally in its blister pack. Now you can see the button there as well. It basically is of the car you're buying. So whatever version of car you have, the button's going to match it in the middle. This was made to like clip onto your pocket or your collar or something also, or your bike even. You can see the splotches 
colors in the paint in this one here. Some colors were more prone to splotch like this when it sat around. I think it has to do with the interaction of the metal. The 1977 Hot Wheels cars, custom styled from bumper to tailpipe, with paint jobs that looked like they're straight from an out of sight car show. And yet another Olds 442. You can see it's a different color yet, a reddish rust color here. Now these remind me of the paint jobs you'd see the Candy Apple Red in the 50s, 60s, and even into the 70s. You can see by the price on this one here, highly sought after. The color makes the car. Now if you notice this one here, this one does not have the white interior. This one has a dark, I'm not sure if it's blue or black in this one here, but it does not have the same interior. It is the exact same car though, just a different interior as well is a different color so you might have been able to find a white interior on this very same color also this car as I've shown you comes in multiple different colors and versions so it's not just one style you need to collect if you want them all you have to collect the actual interior color versions maybe the windshield version as I said as well as multiple different paint jobs now here's an NOS new old stock right on the card itself. Nice blister, the whole works. It has the button that I was talking about mounted on the card, just like you see it here. Spectacular piece. Price-wise depends on the condition, the type of car, how rare it is, and the color scheme itself. Now this one is unpunched, meaning that above the letter T of the word hot, right at the very top, no one punched out the hole to mount this on a peg, on a pegboard display in a store. So this is about as good as you will get on something like this. The bubble itself looks to be intact it doesn't look to be mucked with or anything else like that now as I said they did come with a sticker sheet that you could place onto the car yourself it is in the bottom of the bubble as you can see here so many people didn't put them on many people just like the straight stock look of the car now it's not always the old original ones that carry some value. Now one of the lines is called the Treasure Hunt series and some of those cars were very scarce in specific colors, styles, or car itself. So some of those can go for some pretty good money. And this is one of the hotter ones from 1995. This is the Camaro, the white Camaro here. You can see it went for almost $2,000. There are other examples of this one selling in this very same price range. Even if you find this car loose, it can still sell for some pretty darn decent money. This is the 67 Camaro. And as you can see, this is number three of 12. So if you wanted to get all of the treasure hunts, you would have to hunt all over the place to get all 12 cars. Some stores may have only gotten a couple all together of some of the treasure hunts they may have gotten all the same ones certain ones are extremely hard and you had to really hunt again hence the name treasure hunt hot wheels amazing amazing genuine fiery hot wheels 40 new genuine fiery wisdom sizzling amazing blazing hot wheels Amazing, blazing, super future, hot wheel show and go cars. Now this is a 55 Bel Air Gasser here. This one here can sell for thousands, even if it's loose out of the package. This is more like a stock car, a racing car, as you can see. It's got the size 327 cubic inch engine. It's called the Candy Striper. It has actual stock racing stickers all over it. Copies of real ones also, like the eyes you see down there. This one's sealed, as you can see, and numbered. So this one's limited to 4,000 individual ones. And this is car number 1,072. Here is a fine example of a loose version of that same exact Chevy Bel Air Gasser. Gasser is the line. This is made to look like a hot rod from back in the day. It has a spectacular pink metallic paint job to this as well. Now, loose or not, you saw that this will still sell. This gives you a really good idea on what the car actually looks like. And it does look like what you would see on the stock circuit drag strips or something along that line. Really nice, fine example here. Here's another nice original one, mint on the card, NOS, new old stock. This is the Open Fire. Each one had a model name to it. A large chunk of Hot Wheels are fantasy cars. They never existed in real life. All of the names are listed on the bottom and actually stamped into the bottom, as well as all of the date markings and the manufacturer locations, such as Hong Kong or wherever it may have been made. Now, you can even see the name Open Fire also on the back cardboard of this. It's usually marked there. The bottom of the car will also say that as well. Now this one has been punched. It was on a peg. You can see some creases on the top also, but still a very nice new old stock NOS car. 
Look at those colors. It's Mattel's Hot Wheels flying colors, racy colors, with details so bold and colors so bright on 24 flying colors cars. Out of sight! Out of sight! This is the Hot Wheels Flying Colors Double Dare Set with a fair start button and a finish gate where you finish with flying colors. Hot Wheels Flying Colors Double Dare comes with two cars, 24 Flying Colors cars in all, each sold separately from Mattel. Now this is one of their Flying Colors series here. This is the Prowler. Now the cards themselves had several different versions also. Some of the cards were long like this one here and some are short, just stumpy looking cards. So the price sometimes can vary by the actual card that the car was issued in as well. The Flying Colors were just very colorful cars as you can see, just bright pretty much exemplifies the 1970s or so as you can see. Now as the line progressed they actually applied decals to the cars. You can buy replacements of some of these decals also so you got to be careful on these. Many times you can run into cars that were repainted and being sold as original also. Now this is a custom Camaro here. That's the name of this model here and it's an anti-freeze green. Again, I do like the green ones personally. It does remind me of some of the cars and things they had back in the day. Now the anti-freeze green is one of the more sought after ones because it does honestly look like anti-freeze if you look at it close enough. Now this one's not chipped either. Most of the time you'll run into ones that the kids played with very heavy and the paint will be chipped. They'll have crashed them into things, rolled them down stairs and steps. They would have been outside tumbling around in stones and on the pavement so when they're not chipped up and not damaged they will go for a major premium now here's a gt70 very very nice one here it's in hot pink as well now another thing that you need to consider when you're trying to figure out which version of a hot wheel car you have is the wheels themselves are different in the earlier ones some of the wheels were removable there are several different types of wheels for several different earlier hot wheels also so my recommendation to figure out what type of hot wheel car you had found or what type you have is to just look for a guide online there's dozens and dozens of guides that show you every single model in every single color and also break down all the wheels and configurations you can find for every single one out there. Now the GT70 has gully wing doors also as you can see. Many of these had parts that opened up like you could lift up the back and it would expose the engine and things along that line. Now if I do remember right I think the original design on this one is based on say a formula race car of sorts. Show and go, they're new, look what they do. Amazing Blazing Hot Wheels Grand Prix cars. Now here's one of my favorite cars. This is the Barracuda. And this is in orange. A color that you just didn't find very often. Metallic orange indeed. You can see the price it went for over $1,700. Most people want these in unrestored condition. You will find people that will repair these, restore the paint, or even do custom versions of some of these cars. But what goes for the best money are unrestored, original, and excellent condition. Now most of these earlier ones, the hood opened up also, so that was a damage point. Sometimes you can find where the brace for the roof right by the windshield is dinged or was repaired, could be dented or cracked, hood pins could be broken, lots of things can go wrong with these. You can repair them though, that's why you have to be extremely careful. Now here's a custom Mustang with a darker green on this one here. Very nice one. Now this one says it has a bad hood pin. That means the pin that pivots the hood on one side is damaged. And it still went for $3,600 with multiple bids. You can actually buy pre-made paint for these as well as replacement parts, windshields, and the whole works for most of these. Because again, people do do custom versions of these. Now the custom Mustang here is actually based obviously on the Mustang itself. Very fine example here as you can see. Hood opens up, you can see the hood marks there. Excellent paint job on this one. Light colored interior. Now another issue a lot of these can face is the windshield and rear windows can be warped or shrunk a little bit. That's something else as I said that could be repaired. So you gotta be careful to make sure that everything is original to the actual car itself. The Sizzler, California 8 cuts real racing down to size. Make a pit stop, recharge your motor, get back in the race fast. The California 8 with S's and brakes. You're not just watching, you're in there racing. California style. Sizzlers with its own motor.
Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. I have just a few more bonus ones for those who stuck it out to the very end of this video here. Now, a whole nother line, a whole nother area of Hot Wheels are error cars or error carded versions. There is whole sites dedicated to errors of Hot Wheels, believe it or not. You will find all sorts of different errors out there, whether it's a car mounted on the wrong card, the car upside down, or anything along that line. Missing parts, wrong color, all that type of thing do show up in vintage Hot Wheels, even up to the newer ones right now. Now, some of the rarer ones are ones from overseas that they didn't make in mass quantity like they do here. Now they're not as highly collected and not sought after as much as the ones you would find here in this country. But here's a real nice example from the Japanese market. And lastly, Hot Wheels gave away promotional cars at most of the toy fairs and toy shows, and some of those were limited to only being released at those specific places in very small, limited numbers. And this is a fine example from 2016 of a gold Porsche 934 Turbo. Still in the original packaging, the case even has the tissue paper just as it was pulled out of the box that this was given out at the fair itself. Amazing blazing hot wheels, custom classics do. They do what they do, faster than you can see. See? See the 1969 genuine fiery hot wheels. Get them alone or in super action sets at your authorized hot wheels dealer. The one and only Mattel Hot Wheels. They're cool.